The most recent Toronto Maple Leafs Tampa Bay Lightning game generated a very wholesome, interesting, kind of sad story, and it doesn't involve Leaf first round playoff exits. No, Gord Miller tweeted out a young man who had a sign saying that he traveled all the way from Toronto to Tampa to see my heroes 34 and 16. For those who don't know, that's Austin Matthews and Mitchie Marner. The only problem was it's the end of the season. The Leafs and Tampa have been locked into a playoff spot for a while now, so the two players weren't playing. They were taking a rest night. Thankfully, the Toronto Maple Leafs actually got in touch with the young gun, and a very wholesome video emerged of Matthews and Marner signing the kid's sign, giving him a Matthew stick, peep that poppy 34 on there, and just generally absolutely making his night, I'm sure. Kind of a funny story. I live on the east coast of Canada. You don't get NHL games out here. The second time I saw the New York Rangers play, it was a very similar situation to this. End of the season against the Ottawa Senators. Not only did I have to go out to Ottawa's J ass arena in the middle of nowhere, but no one on the Rangers dressed. No Lundquist, no McDonough, no Kreider, if I remember correctly. I was just so bummed. Anyway, this game would end up going to the Maple Leafs 4-3, so the kid probably liked that. Highly touted Leafs prospect Matthew Nyes also got his first ever NHL point on an assist, and I really don't want to overanalyze this game. I mean, the Leafs had Wall in as net. I doubt he'll be starting for the playoffs. Obviously, both teams were resting players, but this first round series, I think, is good going to be absolutely brutal. I think it's the one I'm most excited for alongside Edmonton LA. That should be an absolute banger. And if Boston ends up playing the Islanders, that also is going to be a must watch. If Sorokin is on his game, I don't really think anyone in the NHL can beat Boston four games out of seven. But I mean, when you get a super hot goaltender, anything can happen. Back to Tampa, Toronto though. I actually do think Toronto is going to take it this year. What they obviously need as they need every year is for really the big four to step up. Tavares, Matthews, Nylander, and Marner. I think Ryan O'Reilly adds a lot. He's been almost a point of game player since joining the Leafs, and really it's the intangibles and his physicality that they got him for. And I think Samsonov is a good option in goaltending. That being said, the Leafs have had decent playoff goaltending recently. I mean, 2020-2021, Jack Campbell had a great run, although they lost in seven. Last year, not so much. He was definitely not great. But man, am I excited for the playoffs. I just can't wait. We're going to turn the video production way up, and I just can't wait, especially for the opening round. It's going to be so hype. But again, let me know your thoughts down below.